Good afternoon, Scorpions. I'm Danielle Sager, your anchor for today, bringing you Scorpion News live from Room N20. That was a great pep rally. Congratulations to Elijah Wallace and Cheyenne Cunningham for winning King and Queen of Winter Formal. Winter Formal is tomorrow, January 25th, from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. If you want to show Hesperia High School your special talent and perform for some great prizes, including money, then make sure to sign up for tryouts. You can sign up in the activities office beginning Monday, January 27th. Let's check in with Jessica and Oscar for sports, and then let's see what new ASL phrase Brandy Williams has to teach us. Good afternoon, Scorpions. I'm Jessica Mundia, giving you the inside scoop on all things sports. I'd like to start by congratulating boys basketball and varsity girls soccer for getting that win against Serrano. Good job, you guys. And the JV basketball guys beat Oak Hills earlier this month, so that deserves a shout out as well. And girls basketball, keep good luck on your next game. Keep playing hard. And good luck for the remainder of the season. Now let's go to Oscar Aguilar to give you the 411 on boys soccer. Hi, I'm Oscar Aguilar with Sports Highlight interviewing Alex Ontiveros. So how's your season going so far? It's going pretty good. We're doing, we have two wins, one loss and one tie during our league season. Um, Preseason was really fun. Went to a lot of tournaments, did pretty good. Faced some hard teams. And how's your year going with such a young team that you have? Honestly, it's going really good. We're such a young team, but they have so much potential. Like, they just need to be more confident with themselves and be, like, more firm and be more consistent of how they are. What's the future going to be like with this young team that you have? They're going to be an amazing team all the way around. And again, with Sports Highlight interviewing Abel Signs, how's your season going so far? It's going good. I mean, our team's doing a lot of good things, so hopefully we could get keep it going, you know? What are some things you guys can improve on? Um... Stuff like, you know, more better communication, you know, like stuff like that. And probably fin area needs to finish the goal, you know. What's the future going to be like with this such a young team that you guys have? Oh, man, I mean, these guys could play, you know. So I think this future for this team is going to be really good. And, you know, probably take it more out. All right, well, that's it for today's highlight. Once again, congratulations to girls soccer for the win against Serrano. Keep it up and good luck on your games today. Now, let's talk about wrestling. Did you guys hear about the intensely close match against Oak Hills last week? Although it wasn't a victory in the end, the effort is something that really deserves a congratulations. Keep up the hard work. Now let's turn it over to Brandy Williams for ASL, and remember to stay active, Scorpions. Hey there, I'm Brandi Williams filling in for Daniel Sager for today's ASL segment. Since Winter Formal is coming up, I'm going to teach you how to sign Can We Dance in Yes or No. In sign language, facial expressions are very important. So when you say Can We Dance, you have to have an inquisitive face like raising your eyebrows and tilting your head. Also in sign language, there is no sign for the word can't. So when you sign Can We Dance, you're really only signing the words We Dance. Like this, we dance. And again, we dance. And one more time, we dance. Now all together, can we dance? And just in case you're the one being asked for that dance, you should know how to say either yes or no. Like this, yes or no. And again, yes or no. And last time, yes or no. Well, that's all for today's ASL segment. And hopefully when you ask that special someone, can we dance? They sign yes instead of no. Thanks, Jessica and Oscar, for another great sports segment. An awesome job on those signs, Brandy. 
I will have to remember, can we dance for the next dance? Seniors, you can pick up your application for Mr. Scorpion 2014 now in the activities office. For those of you seniors who haven't passed the CASI, the ELA portion will be on Tuesday, February 4th, and the math portion will be on Wednesday, February 5th. Also, if you ordered a class ring, the ceremony will be on February 12th. Are you struggling in the class? Well, just head over to room P10 after school for tutoring. Foreign language help will be on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and most Wednesdays. Science tutoring will be on Wednesdays. English, math, and social studies rotate through the week. Juniors, if you still need to take the SAT or ACT, the deadlines for this school year are coming up. If you want to take the SAT on March 8th, the deadline is February 7th. And if you want to take it on May 3rd, the deadline is April 4th. The ACT is going to be held on April 12th, and that deadline is March 7th. Each test is $50, but if you are an AVID or on free or reduced lunch, you may get a fee waiver. Class of 2015, do you want to take a fun and fulfilling elective next year? Well, think about joining broadcast journalism. Let's check in with Joseph Sandoval with another helpful quick tip, and then let's watch the highlight on the This Is Us photography project in the quad. Hi, I'm Joseph Sandoval, and today's quick tip is about sugar. The first tip is that when you eat any spicy food and your tongue starts burning, you can put a teaspoon of sugar in your mouth and it'll stop the burning sensation. The second tip is that you can mix some lemon juice and sugar in a bowl and it'll make an excellent face guard that exfoliates your skin and keeps it clear. So instead of thinking that sugar just causes cavities, remember that it can cause your skin to glow and ease that hot sauce burn. What's up guys, I'm Jericho Blasco, and have you ever wondered what this thing is? Well, you're about to find out right now. Check it out. What was your statement on the This Is Us project? What statement were you trying to show the students? Well, we surveyed the students, so they picked the statement themselves, and they wanted to show off what they loved about their school. The staff, you know, the, the programs, the activities. So that was, we, we decided on the words dynamic and energetic, why our campus is dynamic and energetic. So what interested you to do this project? Um, I like the general idea of the behind the project, how the art changes the world. Well, she's really spontaneous. She's always happy, so I thought it would be cool if she was just smiling and being herself. How do you think your um, students did with this project? You know what? To tell you the truth, I, I think they did an awesome job. Um, they, they brought a lot of energy forward. Um, there was a lot of things that came up when we were taking the pictures, you know, scheduling. Um, but to tell you the truth, I mean, I couldn't be prouder of you guys. Um, you guys did an awesome job. Um, I think that we did take the best of the best and put them up there and show them, show them off for all, all our community to see. Um, and I, to tell you the truth, I really couldn't be prouder. Okay, so now that you guys know a little bit more about um, photography, maybe you guys are willing to join next year and do something interesting like they did. Well, this is it, Scorpions. Great tips, Joseph. I will definitely have to keep some sugar around next time I have spicy foods. And good job on that highlight, Jericho and Karina. Did you know that the This Is Us project is part of an international art project that many communities from all around the globe are participating in? You can visit the website at insideoutproject.net. And guess what? Hesperia High School is on the front page under the follow us on Instagram sidebar. While you are on the site, make sure to check out all the other great projects. Teachers and club advisors, Please send us any information you want the school to know. You can text us at 760-713-6575, email us on hesperiabroadcasting.com, or send us a tweet at Scorpion News. Well, that's it for this episode. For those of you who are going to Winter Formal, I hope you have a great time, and I hope everyone has a great weekend.